that uh, this time shooting this video is going to work out for me because this is the third time I've tried to shoot it. I keep getting interrupted. Uh, we are actually without air conditioning right now and the house is over 80 degrees and it's humid out and it's hot and miserable. The um, AC guy is going to be here about 5 so I'm thankful for that. But this is a um, Halloween mini book that I made. Um, there are some pictures on my Facebook page of this. But I wanted to shoot a video because it's using the AccuCut die Build a Birdhouse. And I modified it to make this mini book and I had so much fun. This is for sale. If you guys are interested in buying it, uh, first come first serve, send me an email. The information will be below um, on your screen so that you'll have that. And of course, as always, rate, subscribe, and comment on my YouTube videos, please. For those of you who are continuing to follow my adoption reunion story, uh, my birth mother and I are in contact several times a day. I'm really enjoying getting to know her. She's a very precious lady. And uh, please come join us on our journey. It's on the blog. Okay, here are the first two pages. This actually has some room in the back to um, put some journaling or some tags or something like that. These are retired Sizzix dies. Most of the stamped images you see in this book are actually um, Circle G dollar stamps that I bought at my local craft store. This is a, a library pocket and um, actually it's just a regular pocket. I, I clipped a little hole right there for the uh, tags to slide in out and as you can see there are lots of tags. The stickers and these die cuts here are from KC and Company. This actually opens up and inside there are some more tags. This is a 3D sticker also from KC and Company. On this page I've got stamped images and over here is another um, photo mat with uh, lots and lots of different tags inside for journaling, for extra pictures, whatever you want to, to use them for. Okay, these two pages um, I kept kind of simple. Once again, oh my hand's shaking. Sorry about that, folks. Um, once again, using um, the tag dies that I already own. seem to have a little problem right now with the focus. Hold on a second folks. Okay, here's some more die cuts. Um, this is one of the newer Sizzix Ghost dies. I cut it out of shrink plastic and I added some glow in the dark paint. If this is exposed to light for a while. It does actually glow in the dark. And over here I have two photo mats. Um, smaller mats and um, of course a cute little stamped image there. And then these are the last two pages. Both of them are pocket pages, so they both have more of those wonderful tags that I cut out of um, scraps of paper. This entire collection is an old uh, DC SW die cuts with a view pack that um, I bought and I used the paper for this project. It is bound together right here, as you can see, with um, binding wires that I use with my uh, Bind It All machine. And, um, really really like the way it came out. Now the, here's the back of the book. Um, I do tend to finish my books and uh, on the back as well as the front just to give them some more interest. These are just that I used to um, kind of attach these spiders to the the moon and then here's some more of the fence also from the same die. This um, it's coming apart. I'll have to glue that back together. So here's the binding. Um, I had some old fibers and um, I tied the binding up with all these fibers and then these fun glass beads um, are just strung on a piece of uh, string, little yarn, and uh, put on the, on the binding as well. So if you're interested, email me. And now I'm going to show you what I bought when I went down to visit my birth mom. Okay, now the first few stamps I'm going to show you I actually bought from Paper Pretties. I ordered them and I've had them for a few weeks. I just haven't um, had a chance to play with all of them yet. Um, nor have I had a chance to show you guys what I got. So um, since I have a teenage young man in my life, um, I wanted to buy this stamp set. Um, 
And if, here, here are some CC designs. Uh, this is the Swiss, Swiss Pixies, and uh, that's what she looks like. I know what you guys mean by having a hard time filming with one hand. Okay, there's another one. Here's a small American Girl stamp set that I bought on clearance at Michael's for like a dollar. I'm going to use that for something to send to my niece, Melissa. Um, but as you guys know, I have lots of nieces and nephews, and um, I should say cousins. I don't have any more nieces and nephews, just Melissa. And then here's this stamp. I, it's just a saying that says, Hope is Magical. And then Chad will be graduating from high school in 2013. Just two years, two short years of school left for him as far as this stage of his life. Um, he's growing into quite a young man and I, I really love him and I, I can't uh, imagine anything for him but a really bright and wonderful future because he's doing very well in school and he deserves it. So here's this stamp set of, of sentiments that I really love. Now. This big box that you see on my table is actually what I bought while I was down south. There are two stamp stores in the Georgia area, in Marietta to be exact. I'm only actually going to mention one of them and I'll tell you why. The um, rubber stamp fantasy art company in Marietta that I went to was the friendliest store I think I've ever been to. Uh, the gentleman Gary who works there um, allowed me to take pictures of displays, of cards, anything really that I wanted to take pictures of so that I could save the ideas and case them for myself. And um, the other store, it was a nice store but it was really really packed and the girls seemed too busy with everybody else to even pay attention to me which I didn't appreciate but that's that so that's why I'm not mentioning her. So if you want my, my business, treat me kindly and I'll do the same. Okay, this is a set from Clearly Beautiful Prickly Pear. So you can see it's butterflies. Um, if you know me, if you watch any of my stuff, you know that I, I love butterflies. And now that I know I'm going to have to be um, making Christmas cards, which I should be starting, here is um, a Christmas step, stamp set from Stampedus. This one I absolutely adore. This is called Here She Goes Clear Stamps and they're inky sayings for us stampers and scrapbookers. They're really really fun. Then there's this one, another one by the same company. This is a little Halloween fall girl with her acorn and her pumpkins and I think she's going to be really adorable all um, stamped up. You've seen me use this butterfly in other projects. You've seen me shrink it. Um, but here's a stamp.